Hi, how's it going? My name is Ellie. I'm a curriculum developer at Codydex, and today I'm going to be showing you how to deploy a website using Vercel. So let's say you have some files on your computer that you want to turn uh, into a website or you have HTML or maybe a React app that you want to turn into a website to share with friends or just have a link to access. Uh, you're able to do that using Vercel. So this, for example, is my P5 soundboard uh, website that you can access with the p 5 soundboardvercelapp link and it makes fun little noises. So the first thing to do is create a free Vercel account. And so once you do that, you should be able to uh, see something like this. You're uh, able to log in with your GitHub or your email. And now you basically have access uh, to deploy right away. So you can either import from a GitHub repository that maybe you have it already saved on GitHub or you just have it as files on your computer. So you can click add new and then click project. Uh, and I am going to import from my GitHub. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on my Shiba 3D uh, React project. So I'm going to click import and then it's going to take me to this page where I can pretty much name uh, what the project is called essentially. Uh, but this will be the website link. Uh, so I'm going to name it Shiba 3D Spin. Um, and then uh, you can go ahead, depending on your project, you're able to go ahead and add environment variables if you have those. Um, any other kind of build settings, uh, if you created some sort of uh, app with like a framework. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on deploy. Okay, so once you've clicked deployed and you're able to see the screen that says congratulations, you've successfully deployed your website. So I'm going to click on the website and now you'll see that my Shiba has been loaded. Um, there's a Vercel toolbar uh, that also um, helps you if you're logged in. Uh, but here we go. And then now my Shiba spins. This is one of my favorite cute little mini websites that I've built. So as you can see, deploying a website with Vercel is really easy. I've been using it for a really long time uh, and it's become something that I use uh, regularly when I just want to deploy small little fun static websites. So thank you for watching. And as always, there's a written instructions for uh, all of our videos that we put out. So you can find that in the uh, link in the description. We'll see you all in the next video.